up everybody, 5 foot 8 dunker, vertical trainer, Andy Lloyd here from Sky Athletics coming to you today for episode 53 of the Sky Vlog. So today I'm excited we're going to get into the first basketball movement. So yes, I train for strength and conditioning, I train for the vertical aspect, um, but I really enjoy the movements of basketball that you can take with you on the court. But first we're going to get into lateral movement. So shuffling defensively, staying in front of your defender, easy little tricks that you can use to immediately become quicker laterally. Now, this we're gonna focus on pretty much just dropping our hips and getting our feet outside of us a little bit more just so that we can pop out of our stance instead of getting stuck. A lot of people tend to get stuck in a defensive position. And by that I mean when they'll go down, so we'll get, we'll get right into it. So if I want to change direction quick and pop back this way, if someone just crossed me over right in front of me and went between their legs, changed directions, a lot of people will go to change direction and they'll put all the weight on the outside leg and they'll leave no weight on the inside leg. Now, this is what I mean by getting stuck in a position. So a lot of the times, even, even in a drill, so for coaches, if you're watching, any coaches out there that are watching this and you have, uh, if you have your players do the side-to-side -side shuffle within the lane, a lot of the times the guys will go out and they'll go down and they'll reach to touch the line and they'll put all the weight on this leg right here and they get stuck. It's terrible as far as conditioning, it's not doing anything for you and the form is just completely off. I don't recommend reaching down to touching a line when you're doing um, those lane shuffles. What you want to do is actually drop your hips and throw your legs out, outside and keep this right leg so if I'm if I'm popping back up to my right I'm gonna keep my right leg underneath me keeping some of the weight on it so I can pop back in this direction putting all the weight out here and having this this leg up in the air or all the way on the outside of my center line where my hips are is not ideal at all so you'll see real real quick we won't get extremely technical but this is something you can focus on the next time you do lateral shuffles so if I'm gonna shuffle over here I'm gonna again not reach down if I'm doing in between the lane because my chest will go down. So I'm going to stay up in an athletic position and all I'm going to do is, you can't even do it slowly. So I'm going to throw this leg out more and keep this one underneath me. So now I can just pop right back up. So this is good for change of direction now. A lot of the times you'll see those ankle breakers and just go check the videos a lot. I would say most of the time you'll catch guys falling that way because they put all the weight over here and then they fall over, okay? So that's how you get those ankle breakers. The guy who wins, as far as offensively and defensively, the guy who wins is the guy who stays lowest longer, okay? So if you pop up on defense, if you bring your hips up, bring your upper body up, then you're done. You're gonna get crossed over, you're gonna get scored on. If I'm staying low the whole time, just like this in an athletic position, and I'm shuffling over, and I, and I can pop up back and forth like that, then that's ideal for a defender and that's how you won't get beat as often as a defender so stay low now that was a quicker video because it's a fairly simple concept I've been teaching it for over three years you know there's much more technical aspects to it but this is something that you can just take with you apply it the next time you go play basketball practice it in your driveway really quickly again hips low chest up throw the legs out. So now if I'm changing direction and I want to pop back to my left, same thing. I don't want to lean over on this leg and get crossed up. So I want to just throw my legs out, keep my hips low, keep this left leg underneath me, keep weight on it, and then pop back up. Okay? So a lot of the times when you go to change direction, people put weight on this leg and reach down. Same for, same for the other side. You, would, you just want to, just like this. So I'm going to come here. Okay? and I'm gonna pop back. You see how I don't get stuck? Now if I would go reach for, there's no line there, but if I would go reach for an imaginary line right now and I would drop my body and I would put all the weight on this leg, watch how, how I get stuck. So that's how people get crossed over and if you're practicing like this, then you're gonna get crossed over the same exact way. So that's why you're gonna go like this. You're gonna have no weight on the inside of the leg, no center of gravity, and you won't be able to pop back up. Now, again, these teachings are things that I have learned, that I have applied to players that I have coached previously. So this is no set rule book or anything like that. This is my opinion. Any comments, whether it's, or any criticism, positive, negative, constructive, 
Leave in the comments below, always open for a great discussion. But that's what I've taught um, football players that are playing D1 right now, college players also playing Division I right now, um, that have applied it to their game, that have made them better defenders. So again, keep working, go to my website, www.skyathletics.com, download my free program, da go download it right now, get it started. I had someone message me today that said they got their first dunk with my first four weeks of my free program. Now again, that's just the free program. I'm gonna be offering personal coaching and consulting to the players that really wanna take it seriously. So stay in tune for stuff like that that are dropping on my website. Um, also have an, a big, big surprise as far as nutrition that's gonna be dropping off my website, something that'll tie in my program really well. But first step, go download that free program, subscribe to my mailing list on my website. You'll get it almost simultaneously. And again, remember guys, sky has no limits. Keep working hard. Let me know if you like this video and if you want to see more stuff like this.